what is up everyone welcome back to another episode of architecture 201 i must say after um, episode 3 which is model making this is one of my favorite phase within the entire project which is casting there's a lot of approaches when it comes to casting you can either do a one-time use mold or a many times use mold either way um, since we're starting out and trying to you know get our hands on with the idea of casting we're gonna be using foam core and plaster as our casting medium now when i first hear of casting i imagine doing very sophisticated and complex forms through many steps but the concept of casting is rather simple all you need to do is create a mold then you make sure that you seal that mold really nice and tight so that when you pour the medium in the liquid doesn't leak outside and you're just trying to uh, wait until it dries out and then you can take the mold off depends on the medium the ratio between water and the medium is going to be a little bit different uh, for plaster it would be two to one two being plaster and one being water now you can dilute your plaster but it will take longer to dry up because there's a lot of moisture within um, the compound compared to concrete which is 5 or 6 or even 7 to 1 5, 6 or 7 being the concrete mix or cement and 1 being water now concrete will be a lot heavier than cement because there are rocks involved within the medium cement is just cement and no rocks, nothing at all depends on what texture you want if you want the finish and polished marble looking like you can go for plaster if you want that modernism architecture or postmodern style with like um, the grudge texture you can go with concrete or you want something that's in between you can go for cement now one of the crucial factor in casting is how to think in negative space essentially what you were doing with casting is that you making a mold and you pouring a medium that's gonna be shaping into the shape that you want so you need to think literally upside down as you can see here we got some really interesting shape One of them being an object that Megan casted before. So as you can see, when she had the valley down and she poured and now the mold comes off, it actually, the valley becomes the top. Now I think the, the next one is really interesting because um, what they do essentially is that they took, a, I think, a, a plastic bag and then they just ruffle them up and add to the surface of the plaster when it was still wet. So when it dried out, they just simply peel the plaster off and you get this really nice texture and pattern of the plastic bag. So I think it's just something um, to take consider when you cast something. If you want like a specific pattern, um, you should uh, think ahead how to do it. And also the material that you're going to use as mold also affects the texture outside of the casting as well. Now for my part, after seeing casting done by my friends I decided to do uh, five or six mini studies about the medium which is plaster here's a little montage uh, of me pouring the plaster into my mold because I want a really fine and smooth texture to all of my casting I decided to use acrylic sheets for my um, mold material I also experiment with a lot of um, the things I put in the plaster, um, different texture, different sizes, see how they play out. As you can see, I'm quite satisfied with my results. My models have enough amount of details and studies that I got from the plaster. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Tune in next time for more architecture content from Iowa State University.